The Buffalo Bills have reportedly signed 25-year-old wide receiver Chase Claypool to a one-year contract and was definitely a bit of a surprise move that came on the same day that the Miami Dolphins signed Odell Beckham Jr. Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. I'm Jake Varco, and you wanted a wide receiver? You got a wide receiver, Bills Mafia. I mean, Chase Claypool joining the Buffalo Bills. Bit of a surprise move, came out of nowhere. We're in that third wave of free agency now. We're approaching June 1st here. But uh, Chase Claypool is someone who's definitely an interesting figure. The most recent memory I have of Claypool is in that Week 18 game between the Bills and the Dolphins last year when Tua targeted him and he had the ball intercepted by none other than Taylor Rapp to put a wrap on the division. Another recent memory of Claypool that I have is when... He called himself a top three wide receiver in the league. Oh boy. Talk, yeah. I know I'm a top five receiver. Yeah. I know I'm a top three receiver. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. You know, I, I just Can gotta we get prove some to people. Right? When I'm working, I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a dog. Like, Honestly, I like the confidence, but it's just ludicrous. It is a crazy statement to make because he's not anywhere close to top three wide receiver in the National Football League. He's not anywhere close to that status. And honestly, he was oh so close to playing in the CFL. This is also a guy who is remembered for celebrating a first down while his team was losing in the dying seconds of the game and the clock was draining. Honestly, this guy has basically become a meme. Last season, Claypool finished the year with just 8 receptions for 77 yards and 1 touchdown, so he's definitely fallen off since having back-to-back -back seasons with over 800 yards receiving in 2020 and 2021 with the Pittsburgh Steelers, but it's really weird because he's still in what's supposed to be in his prime years at 25 years old. His best year was in his rookie season back in 2020 when he finished with 62 receptions for 873 yards and 9 touchdown grabs with an aging Ben Roethlisberger throwing him the ball. The Canadian wideout has never played with a quarterback quite like a prime Josh Allen. The closest things would be Old man Ben Roethlisberger, and I guess Tua last year, although I've never really heard Tua compared to Josh Allen, which this could be a good thing for Claypool, joining Josh Allen, but realistically, if it doesn't work out, you gotta think that this is his last opportunity in the National Football League, joining the Bills, joining a really good situation where he might actually get some targets here. If it doesn't work out, you got to think he's headed to the CFL. The way that I see this signing for the Buffalo Bills is, you know, it's a low risk. I guess it's a high reward signing. It is a guy who he's had over 800 yards twice in his career, but that was years ago. He's only 25 years old. He's got a big body, big frame. And, you know, he's someone that's known for having some talent. But when you're looking at the wide receiver room for Buffalo right now, you obviously have your top guy in Keon Coleman. Khalil Shakir, Curtis Samuel, and then you have a guy like Matt Collins, and this is, I see him playing a similar role to Matt Collins, competing for a wide receiver four or five spot on this team. He's someone who, you know, he might be able to get some targets. He might not even make the team. I guess it remains to be seen, but the Bills signed him for a reason. I'm fine with the Bills adding Chase Claypool to the roster because there is a need to add some more wide receiver depth, and I guess this is a player with some high upside, but... It's not my favorite signing by any means of the imagination. Like Chase Claypool, he's so new. He has been a distraction in the past, but really, I think that he's not going to be a distraction on the level of a guy like Stefan Diggs once was. I'm curious to know how you're feeling about the addition of Chase Claypool to the Buffalo Bills. I really, I want to hear it in the comment section down below. Let me know how you're feeling about Chase Claypool joining the Bills and what do you want to see from Chase Claypool in the upcoming 2024 NFL season? If you haven't yet, I encourage you to stay tuned for more content coming your way. Click like and hit that notification bell down below to be notified every time new content is being released. And Yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate all of you watching today. I'm Jake Varco. This is the Bills Bunker. Go Bills. Welcome to Buffalo. Chase Claypool. Thank you.